It could be the best thing since sliced bread, bread that resists mold without the use of artificial preservatives. Researchers from the University of Alberta have found a way to make bread last longer by taking a cue from the science of sourdough bread. Joining me now from our Edmonton studio is Brenna Black. She's one of the lead researchers on the project and a PhD candidate at the University of Alberta. Brenna, good to see you. Uh, tell us, how do you make bread last longer? Well, we've known for quite some time that sourdough bread has a longer mold-free shelf life compared to regular bread. And the only difference between sourdough and regular bread without preservatives is the lactobacillus culture, actually. Um, and with this lactobacillus culture, we've, we've known that it's antifungal. And um, it's actually, our previous work has been focused on um, uh, understanding that this antifungal probably comes from uh, the bacterial culture converting linoleic acid, which is an omega-6 fatty acid. So what we've done is we've actually just introduced a little bit of more omega-6 fatty acid into the culture, and it's given us a much higher result of antifungal activity in the sourdough bread. So that's kind of a cool experiment, but does it make every bread taste like sourdough bread then? If we do add the culture into bread, it will taste like sourdough, so it does have the acidic taste, but this I will actually be able to uh, um, be replaced uh, for natural preserve or for chemical preservatives in the bread, mm -hmm. and and that actually gives it will give a different taste, an acidic taste. But it will the preservatives that they use no, normally in bread have a very strong taste, and it's not a good one. So it, you're compromising um, more acidic taste for for. Uh, less preservative. Sure, but in this research, and I'm not a scientist obviously, but uh, so are, are you basically just saying replace all bread with sourdough bread and it'll last longer? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, or we can take, <laughs> it's a better taste too, um, or we can take these compounds uh -huh. that we've identified now and we can use them in breads to replace the, the chemical preservatives. Interesting, well. so um, what, what, that's, what would you say are some of the benefits then of this, of this research? Um, definitely, we've now found uh, a natural uh, preservative for mold growth in bread and cereal products as well. So this doesn't, it's not just limited at breads or for breads. Um, it, we're looking actually for the beer industry. They've got a bit of problem with mold in the fermentation process of grains. Um, also for crop preservation, to, so we don't have so much wastage in crops, Canadian crops as well. Fun can stuff. Be used there. Well, listen, we appreciate mm -hmm. you taking the time to talk to us. Good luck with the rest of your research and your PhD. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Brenna Black is a lead researcher and a PhD candidate at the University of Alberta.